In this video, I'm going to show you how to read measurements on a tape measure. Hey guys, it's David here from David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of woodworking, you know, DIY builds, product reviews, and product how-to videos just like this one. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for a lot more really great content to help you along the way with your DIY woodworking projects. So the first thing to know about metric is that everything is broken up into increments of tens, tens, hundreds, and thousands. So this is an illustration of one centimeter. In between that centimeter, there are 10 millimeters all the way along. And in one meter, there are 100 centimeters. Also, when converting from metric to imperial, because I have a metric and imperial tape measure here, which is handy to have, you'll know that one inch is 25.4 millimeters. I have an illustration here of one inch, and underneath is the millimeter centimeter conversion. You'll see that this is one, two, and then 5.4 millimeters is one inch. So if you're ever doing projects or builds where you're converting from one to the other, that's a handy number to have. Also, if you were looking to learn how to read Imperial on an Imperial tape measure like this, check out the video in the YouTube card above. I've got a great little piece of content on reading Imperial measurements, you know, fractions on a tape measure like this. So here I have an illustration of about five centimeters to scale. And like I said before, everything is 10. So, you know, between each centimeter are 10 millimeters. So if you were, you know, given a measurement in millimeters and you wanted to know how many centimeters it is, you just divide it by 10. If you wanted to know how many meters it was, you know, you divide it by 100 and you'd probably end up with, you know, like a decimal if it was a small number. Same as if you were given a measurement in meters and you want to know how many millimeters it is, you divide by 1,000. If you want to know how many centimeters it is, you divide by 100. It, it's just once you get used to that 10 increment thing, it really makes it really easy. And like I said, this tape measure has imperial and metric, and I'll have a link to this tape measure. This is a really good tape measure to use if you're looking for a tape that reads in metric and imperial. But like if somebody would give you a measurement in inches, like I said, you just take that measurement, divide it by 25.4, that'll give you your millimeters. And then if you wanted centimeters, you divide that by 10. If you wanted meters, you divide that by 100, and you've got your measurements, and you go from there. And you'll find that uh, anything American made and everything in America is going to use imperial still. And there's nothing wrong with that. But I mean, most of the rest of the world has gone to metric. So that conversion is going to come in really handy. And even, you know, Canada, Australia, in the construction industry and a lot of the trades, they're still going to be using imperial. And a lot of the times when you're building things where you've got construction equipment, but then you've got, you know, metric drill bits or metric hardware, that conversion is going to come in really handy. And it's not a bad idea to even make a little diagram like this. Have a look at it if you're just getting started and you'll really begin to understand the conversion and how it works. And you know, it, it's, it's really easy once you kind of wrap your head around it. And even as you break down into smaller increments, everything is still divisible by 10. You'll find that makes it really easy. Like for instance, one millimeter equals a thousand microns. So as you work down into, you know, like 3D printing or using vernier calipers, you know, fine tuned equipment, it's just the whole scale works from top to bottom divisible by 10. You'll find it's really handy like that. And just a, a little example here of what I mean, how to measure metric is I've measured across this piece of wood here and you see it's, you know, five, six, seven, eight, but before the nine, so then you've got eight centimeters plus one, two, three, four, five millimeters. So that's going to be eight centimeters and five millimeters or 8.5 centimeters. Another quick example measuring across this piece of wood here, you come across one, two, three, four centimeters plus one, two, three, four millimeters. So that's going to be 4.4 centimeters. Or like I said, you times that up by 10, you've got 44 millimeters. And you know, guys, it's really just as easy as that, like that 10 scale I've been talking about, you know, it, it really works well. And I know Imperial is, you know, an older scale of measurement, you know, America is still that way. I actually still like Imperial myself. I do a lot of woodworking and construction work and, you know, Imperial is the way to go. But, you know, most of the world's gone to metric 
And at some point in time, you're just going to have to learn it, whether you like it or not. The conversion is pretty easy. It's one number to remember. It's really that simple. You know, it, it, it's something that you just want to wrap your head around because one day you're going to be working on a car, working on some sort of equipment. There's going to be metric hardware. You're going to have metric tools and you're going to have to know how to use it. So, you know, I hope this video helped. And like always, guys, new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, David's DIY reviews, really great content. Check me out in the next video.